Welcome back to the Eagle's Nest, the home of the NFL rejects in this season as the Golden Eagles going up against the Dallas Cowboys. And Dak Prescott, who is freaking over 30, he's still 87 rated, he's still an X-Factor. Could we have that as well, please, for once? I would really enjoy having a quarterback like that. Russ Wilson has been doing well. I would just try to get him another ring towards the end of his career. Uh, but it is going to be extremely tough getting there. Uh, because we are in clutch moments. Sometimes it works well. Sometimes we just let ourselves down. And, uh, you know, having built the team out of regular season free agents, 830 or older only, that, of course, puts up a, a few challenges. Especially, especially if you start picking up injuries. I think we mitigated most of the problems quite well. Um, but again, playing against a team like the Cowboys, you just have to expect that this is going to be an extremely rough game. Uh, the uh, team that you did see before uh, in the bottom right corner, just if you want to go into detail, just go back and take a look at that again. Uh, but that is basically uh, what we're going up against. Extremely strong players good players solid uh, um, um, line of scrimmage stoppers good rush uh, defense here uh, uh, rushers coming from the sides very nice cornerbacks uh, just solidifying the backfield there um, and to round all of that off we've got good safeties as well so just a lot of problems for us there's no Real uh, big name superstars with the superstar Dave traits or X factors or stuff like that, but all the players are just really solid. Mid 80 rated players, um, low 90 rated players, just really solid player material right there. So look at a bit, a little bit envious right here, <laughs> and especially the the uh, the strength and all that. That is a big part of how they stop us. Trevin Diggs here injured quite quickly in the game. Leighton Van Der Esch, one of the notable names here, of course, but there are so many good players in here. Mazi Smith from the 2023 draft is in here. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out how we crack this offense, uh, this, this, this defensive unit. Do we go with pass plays? That, of course, is always an option. Um, but uh, for that to work, we have to have a freaking precise quarterback. And Russ Wilson has been abysmal in that aspect. Alvin Kamara here listed in the notable inactives as one of the players that is out for the season. Six weeks, that is not enough time. Did the math. He would return in the week of the Super Bowl. And I'm not sure how his uh, injury... Oh, crud. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Can we pick it up? Nope. Nobody's picking it up, and we hand the ball over to the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm not going to say what I think about that, because otherwise I would get demonetized in one and <laughs> not even 1.1 seconds. That is so stupid. Again, as in the last game against the Bengals, we are just hurting ourselves so much. So much. It's just really horrible. We're just doing things quite well. And then as soon as we start working towards, towards uh, you know, halfway looking decent, we start making mistakes. And last, uh, last week, those mistakes were just really, really blatant. It was holding offenses that hurt us so much. It was drop balls left, right and center that just completely nullified progress that we had. So there's a lot of that going around. I'm really not happy. I really am not happy. Uh, plus, we lost Alvin Kamara. We had to bring in Joe Mixon, who I don't rate as highly, to be brutally honest. And there we go. Oh, it would have been nice to have another stiff arm here. But Aaron Jones finds the yards, even if he is <laughs> pressured from all sides. Patriots halfback screen. Let's go. Of course, that's uh, the Vass. Vass is not a player, Art. I don't even know what accent that is supposed to be. Whatever. Uh, we're going to go with Aaron Jones uh, off towards uh, the uh, left-hand side here. Let's go. Isaac Sumalo with a block. We're stepping out of bounds here towards the end of the first quarter. We're going to get another play away. 
And uh, nope, we're not stopping time. Interesting. So, very balanced so far, especially the passing yards. Uh, Dak Prescott. Also, does he have better receivers? I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't even say so, because that is slightly unfair um, looking at our uh, at our receivers. So that also I don't really agree. I, I really am very happy with the players we have. It's just always about how well we just work and how, how clean our our uh, our play and our game is. If we play cleanly, we can beat any freaking team. I have no doubt. But if we play like we play right now, this is just... It's just... Unnecessary, right? Really unnecessary. Alright, eight yards to go. I would like to get a touchdown now. That would be nice. Even if I can't rely on the graphics. Right, there we go. At least this pass works. I have to rely on the shorter passing here. Zay Jones, nice uh, trim run here. Very close to the line of scrimmage. It's a short pass option, basically. Always the safety valve. Good for picking up something like five yards. That works quite well. But here in this case, we score a touchdown in the second quarter. I just hope our defense manages to stop Dak for us to get back into the race. Come on, defense. Oh, that was freaking quick. Jesus Christ. Yeah. There is, uh, for those of you that know Madden quite well, Dak Prescott has to be uh, the most boosted player ever in the history of Madden. Basically, he always gets fantastic ratings. And, uh, you know, think what you will. I think he's a very... He's not a bad quarterback, all right? And I don't really want to make it sound mean here. Darrell Taylor with an injury, by the way. Uh, no, I don't really want to do him injustice, but is he really that fantastic, though? Mm, not sure. Anyways, let's go with this here. Another screen, and that ball is tipped. That pass was absolute dog shit, because Aaron Wilson would have been away. Would have been away. This is so strange. This is really so strange. We just can't get the easiest stuff working anymore. Come on. Just get that pass out there. Keep running. Why the slowdown, man? Why the slowdown? Oh, this is so frustrating. When the easiest things stop working. Really, really annoying. I know the pressure was on. I know that the defense isn't sleeping and they're making life hard for us. But come on, man. You just got to be better than that. Got to be better than that. Four verticals it is. Looking for Lazard. Maybe, of course, uh, Boyd is an option if he catches it. And that is actually pretty nice. Tyler Boyd going forward and now into the end zone at fourth and eight, turning it around. All right, that is good. Well, not turning it around, but 17-14. At least we get back. We, we, we keep it close. Could have went for tactic shit and just picked up a first down, but I don't want to do that. Not when I'm behind I do that when it's uh, when we have the luxury of wasting time, managing the clock, doing all that stuff. Jesus Christ, they score so quickly! Is our defense on the field even? Ten points difference. Ten point difference. Jesus almighty. Three timeouts left. Let's go. Aaron Jones. We're going to try and use the clock to at least get back to the 21 again. But it is... It is what it is, man. It is a really, really hard game. Really hard game. Alright. That is... Here we go. Overthrown. Need I say more? It's just... It's just stuff like that. I'm going to stop ranting in a second, but let me just go one more time here. I don't understand. Right? I've got a veteran quarterback. I know he's regressing slightly, but still. 
it shouldn't be that much of an issue. David Montgomery powering forward here. Injury for Leighton Van Der Esch. One of the more oppressive linebackers here, to put it in a friendly way. Let's go with a mesh here. Let's just let's just grab a few yards, but it is really hard doing that when you can't rely on the play. I hate this. I hate this so much. It really is. Hmm. It's hard to plan a route. It really is hard to plan the route when you don't have the option of relying on on whatever is shown to you here. But okay. Yeah, we're going to deal with it. Second quarter. Oh, get away from me, for fuck's sake. Number 33, that's Clark. Just coming through here. Third and nine. Patriots verts. I need Hopkins to be fast here. I need him to be fast. Or do I... Wait. Let's go audible. Let me just flip the play. Can I get a faster player into... That's oh, still Hopkins. At least we're going towards the right hand side here. Wow! Alright, that was a good one. Even holding on to the ball there. And I just saw the time, so... Let me quickly call a timeout here. Going 24-21 would be ideal. Not sure if we can pull it off, though. Not sure if we can pull it off. We've got... Lazard going for the complicated route here. And that is... That's a fucking pick, man. Oh, come on, man! Just take the fucker down. Ah! Yeah, there we go. Exactly what I always like to say. When shit hits you, it hits you twice. Now we've got wrong art and squiggly art. We can't rely on anything now anymore. That is fantastic, which means it's only going to be a run plays from here on out. Let this fucking half end. 13 points behind. That is the Cowboys experience on Madden. It's always the same. Whenever you play the Cowboys, it is really horrible. It is really horrible. I felt like I was stretching it a little bit. Yes, I was forcing that pass. Could have gone for uh, for a different one, but still. Why is Micah Hyde my pass return player here? Can we briefly talk about that? Aaron Jones, 40 yards a day. Zero touchdowns on five attempts. Let's go. Halfback zone weak, right to left. Let's go. Just... Let's just stick with the run plays here. Try and at least get those working. But as you can see, the offensive line is struggling as well. Right to left. Again. Let's go. I mean, there is a chance for us in this, right? I don't know how that will work. We're going to need fantastic individual efforts like here from Aaron Jones, which is really great. Holding off so many players, finding space to go through. Nice. Well, that was actually good. Mesh switch. Can't rely on the play art. So we're going to go with an inside zone here. Just move the players around a little bit more. Maybe create a mismatch. There we go. Aaron Jones outside. Go, 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 go. I need a block. Nobody coming inside to help me. And that's an injury for Aaron Jones. Who has been pushing this team forward for the past few plays now. Going to go with David Montgomery. Third quarter. Do we find space? Nope. There's no space. Left side collapsed. Right side not opening up. Things are... Hard. Alright. It is hard. 
Let's acknowledge it. But it's also, you know, it's a good team that we're playing. Come on, man. Just get something here. Third and four. Joe Mixon, let's bring you in. Why shallow cross? I'm actually looking for Lazard. He should open up. Should open up. Just look at the coverage there. The players on the defensive side, they're not moving. It is now time for uh, instant replay, of course. But look at this area. This is basically the ideal area for a certain plays. And the perfect area for Russ Wilson when he's inaccurate, of course. But we go inside and I can't pass now. I can't throw now because 33 is there. And he's moving along over here. There's this dude who's basically covering uh, number 82. That's Michael Gallup. All right, DeAndre Hopkins would be opening up. On the other hand, he was covered here before. There's a short window where he could be an option. But number 22 could come forward. So that is really, really troublesome. Fourth and four plus, we step out of bounds, as it seems, and we don't get this one done. If I take it, I'm still 10 points down, and I need to start scoring stat now. Otherwise, we're going to be out of this. DeAndre Hopkins. I'm going to try to hit you. Fucking aggressive here. Could have tried to just get the four. But yeah, you can see that our defense has no no chance in stopping them. It is really no chance in stopping them. Really just uh, getting steamrolled here. Easy plays, pushed out. Easy plays and pushed out here. That is frustrating to say the least. It's absolutely rage-inducing to tell you the truth. It's so hard in these games. Just kind of staying focused, staying positive when you're just running against a freaking brick wall. And that is a feeling that I never had last season as the Shamrocks. I can't really put my finger on why, but that is just... It never happened. Never happened that I felt like it was completely without a chance. But here it's just, I really feel like it doesn't matter what I do. Um, there's just no way that we're ever going to really get back at them realistically. All right. We can score. Yes, like we do here. Michael Gallup getting in there. Um, and then our defense does manage to hold them, which is nice. But through me is 32. We need, to, we need to score two touchdowns. That is never going to happen. Never going to happen. Um, we can still try go for for aggressive plays here, of course, um, and you know me, I will. But still, it is a little bit frustrating, though, that uh, we're this close to starting uh, the playoffs now, and we were starting to overtake the Colts, and now we're completely letting go of of this advantage here. And we actually have momentum tracked back. That is nice. DeAndre Hopkins has the best route here. I would like to hit him on that one. But the coverage is going to be there. So I have to go for Alan Lazard. I have to go with a quick uh, reaction. Let's go to the play action switch dig here. Michael Gallup going to go right and then over towards the left hand side. And look at that. Why is that so badly overthrown? Shaq Mason with an injury here. One of my offensive line players. That's not helping the cause here. Bench swap time. Let's go. If we can get Hopkins, if we can get uh, Michael Gallup again, that would be great. All right. So, completed third and four. Russell Wilson starting to find his targets slowly but surely. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. I will try to hit back at them, of course. It's the least I can do for you guys. Just embrace the pain and move through it. But it is hard. It's really hard, especially knowing that the next uh, next drive that the Cowboys will have will result in a touchdown. That is without a question. 
without a question here. So let's see, Michael Gallup. Again, DeAndre Hopkins, push forward, second and one, step out of bounds. Let's just keep doing what we're doing here. Flood time. Let's get Zay Jones. Maybe Al Lazard will be open. I doubt it. But maybe... Yeah, what is he doing? Why does he continue to run, man? Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. That is... Mm, again. Again. Why is the game doing that? His route is go straight and then turn left. Go straight and turn left. Everything would be open here. And I've got a clear path from Russell Wilson here. That would be a, an easy touchdown. Freaking easy. But no. I have to do this the hard way, as always. Pushing forward. 2 minutes 28. I really want to get the ball away. Can I? I'm clicking the X button here. I'm clicking the X button. Let me just go at this quickly. I want to get the ball away before the 2 minute mark. I want to get the ball away. Let's go. Jesus. Freaking hit in the back here. Two minutes and two seconds. Stick time. Let's see. Can we hit Alan Lazard? Michael Gallup gets the ball here. Touchdown. We drag one more back. And now it's down to the defense. It's down to the defense. Can they stop them quick? Or do we get the ball back at the one yard line and have the whole field to cover? Questions, questions, questions. Let's see what happens. All right, so we get the ball back. We're at the 18 yard line. And we actually have a shot at this, but we don't have any timeouts left. So we're gonna have to spike the ball if we wanna stop the clock. And we're really gonna have to play very, very well. Go, 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 for fuck's sake, man. Number six was supposed to stick to number seven, but he doesn't. He really comes over and shuts down that play. We have to be super aggressive here. I'd rather not be, to be honest. I'd rather play cleverly here. And he steps outside. Mm, Derek Moore with an injury. Let me just put it this way. If Al-Lazar stays in bounds and we get another 10 to 15 yards... I would not be upset. All right, let's go with this one here. DeAndre Hopkins and Michael Gallup. Nice. Going down here. 1 minute 30. Russell Wilson is really delivering a very good performance now. I, there is nothing I can say. There's no fault whatsoever. But it is probably it's going to be too late to really benefit of anything here. One for one. Ooh. All right, so we stopped the clock, 46 seconds. We're 13 yards out, let's just think this one through. If we strike him too quickly, there's the high chance that they will, uh, that they will score here. So, I mean, I have to score, that's out of the question. 46 seconds, that should give me enough time to think of something clever here. Almost picked, incomplete. Third and ten. Play action crossers. The spike, of course, took away one chance to get in there. But I had to go for it. I had to do this. No! Man, that was on target. Ah, uh, and this is going to be it. This is the decider. Do we draw the game? Or do we not draw the game? Got to go with this one here. Verticals. If I feel like the route wasn't bad. I feel like the route wasn't bad. So, Lazard or Jones? It's down to you two. Yeah. That is deflected. The Rob Bland is there. And we can't make it on uh, the play there. Alan Lazard probably 
could have caught it. And that's the game. 35-28. No turnaround towards the end of this game. No happy ending. Another blow for the rejects here. We're going to be in the playoffs, but we're going to have to do this the hard way. And Dak Prescott injures himself after scoring three fucking touchdowns, all right? Do that a little bit earlier, please. Thank you. Russell was at 52% completion. He just dogged through that, man. Just pure resilience. Uh, without the interception, it's maybe a draw without more of those silly drops. I don't know. Now, it's really easy to talk about it in retrospect. Tony Pollard, 140 rushing yards. He was just unstoppable. One touchdown here. Montgomery wasn't bad, yes, but overall, Aaron Jones was better. On the receiving side, Caden Prather. All right, Maryland product, 122 touchdowns. Tyler Boyd, 92-1. Marco Gallup, 79-2. I, we did what we could. Drops did hurt us because this game, they really counted. There's games where they don't count as much, all right? And uh, not trying to piss on anybody, but looking back at, uh, at the Texans, for instance, in that game, if I had a drop, it didn't really matter that much. Here, it hurts. It really is crucial that we just pull off the plays. Now we play laser-focused football. Zara Franklin, solo attack leader, total attack leader, Damone Clark and Jerome Bland. Quite a few tackles for loss here. No sacks. One interception for Malik Hooker. Number 28. That is annoying. On the kicking side, Matt Gay didn't even get to kick a field goal. Now we were just playing catch all the time. I think we were respectable um, in how we presented ourselves, especially towards the end. But again, in quarter four, it's just, it wasn't enough. All right, it just wasn't enough. Uh, what we what we produced um, Even if we really played our hearts out on this one All right, dropping down in the AFC South second spot now um, And we have one new injury. Who is that? Let's just take a quick look here Let's hope it's nothing too bad Shaq Mason four weeks Yeah Looking at the positions. All right, we are missing our left tackle. We're missing our center. We're missing both our right guards um, and uh, that is not ideal. We're still backfilling here and there. Uh, we're going to have Tyler Lockett back next week. We're going to have our uh, left tackle come back next week. We're also going to have Brandon Scherf come back next week. So that is good. But overall, it's just coming. You know, it's just getting to us. Um, and we just have to be realistic here. This is uh, its not going to be enough to break through. We're not going to dethrone the Bengals. I was really hoping for that. Um, we're still fifth seed, so we might be able to defend that one uh, if we are super lucky and the Jags uh, shit the bed a little bit. <laughs> please do that. But the Bengals are clean through. Bill's looking pretty much unstoppable as well. We're just too far off with our win percentage. Um, we're not going to catch him um, anymore. N never, never mind what we do now. They're not going to mess up anymore. So... It's going to be a wildcard action for us. One more game to play. One more <laughs> chance to injure players. And that is never good. Um, yeah, focusing on next week now. Week 18 against the Browns. I really want to finish the season on a high. It hasn't been an easy season uh, at all. The Shamrock season felt way, way easier. Even if we struggled for sure in certain games. Uh, but for now, going to call it quits. Going to say thank you so much uh, for being here, for joining me. Please drop a like, please subscribe, means a lot to me. And as always, stay awesome. See you next time.